Welcome back guys, Angel of the Night 091 here, coming at you with another Road to Ranked episode. In the last uh, match that we had there, we actually were able to successfully get a victory, which was awesome. Uh, although there was one disconnect there, of course, from another trainer, and we've got two losses there so far. So, in this episode here, what we do, we still have our battle box, of course, we're just going to keep that and preserve it. Uh, we actually switched up the party, so I actually, I didn't notice this until just now, but I have two EV evolutions on the team. So I have Sylveana Flareon, I also have Galvantula, I have Simicor, Steelix, and I also have Staraptor. So I'm not sure how well this is going to go over, but let's see what we can do here. So, uh, let's go with the in party here, and, uh... We'll try to do some matches here with this uh, awesome group of Pokemon. So uh, it looks, oh, it looks like we actually have two wins and two losses uh, because of that one DC from that other trainer. So that's all fine and dandy. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep working with that. So, all right, just gonna wait for a match here. There we go. Looks like we're gonna be battling up against a trainer from uh, Japan. And of course, we're probably going to get our butts kicked. Uh, <laughs> so, looks like he's got uh, Hydreigon, Metagross, Dawn Fan, Slurpuff, uh, Pidgeot, and Gengar. Uh, so, uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have to pull off something here. I need to be able to do some stuff. Uh, we've got Staraptor. Which would be good for quite a few of these pokes. Steelix could wall the Metagross and the Dawn Fan. Uh, maybe the Pidgeot. Okay, so let's lead off. Let's see here. I could use Galvantula. Quite a few things here. So let's go Galvantula. We will go Star Raptor and Steelix. All right, I don't know if this is a good idea, but let's go with it anyway. Um, all right, a little bit nervous here. Every time we go up against someone from Tokyo, Japan, we always get uh, either wrecked or we uh, dominate. So, looks like he's gonna lead off here with the Metagross. Uh, I actually have here the Galvantula first, which is probably not a good pairing up. Uh, so it is Psychic and it is also um, steel. So we have a little bit of an issue there. Now, I'm just going to pull up some information here on good old Metagross. Let's see if I can find it here. Now, let's see. What is it week two? So bug is still times one. Electric is times one. So I am a little bit of at, well, basically I'm at, I'm, I'm a little bit restricted here. Um, I could go for the Thunder. Now, Thunder's going to hit regardless. Uh, that's probably one of my more powerful moves here. So let's just go for that Thunder. Oh, that is ridiculous. Did you guys see that? That was ridiculous. Um, he's definitely going to come in with the Bullet Punch. Watch this. Almost guaranteed. Oh, he didn't. Sweet. We finally got Thunder. That's just plain luck right there. Um, did a decent amount. Uh, I guess I should have probably put like a balloon or something like that on the Galvantula. Um, I, s I really thought it would have gone for a bullet punch here. Now it didn't that time. Let's go into our Steelix. Now, ground is two times to it. So let's go for the Mega Evolution and we'll go for that straight up Earthquake. All right, so Galvantula did enough damage to it. I think an Earthquake should be able to take out that Metagross, of course. The Earthquake. It's a decent amount to me as well, which is not too bad. Let's see here. Load up Steelix. All right, there we go. We got the Metagross taken down. Yeah, so the ground was two times effective to the Steelix. Uh, even though it was Mega Steelix, of course, the typing doesn't change, but the defense is definitely there to help out, so that's awesome. Uh, so we have Dawn Fan now. Now, Dawn Fan uh, might prove to be a bit of an issue here for me. Let's load it up. So, 
Ground is only times one. Normal is times one. Heavy slam is not going to help here. Rock is going to do absolutely nothing. Pro. All right, let's just go for the earthquake. It's going to be our best bet here at the moment. Now that Don Fan is going to hit hard, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, barely holding on. Here's my earthquake. not going to do very much here. I'm probably going to lose, I'm de well, not probably, I am going to lose this Steelix. Um, I could have gone with a safe switch into Star Raptor there. Now, fighting is one, and flying is one. Okay. So, Let's see here, let's just look at Star Raptor. Now, the Brave Bird itself, well, if you look at Close Combat, Close Combat does about 120 uh, damage, and then Brave Bird, let's see here if I can find the attack here somewhere. So Brave Bird also does 120, but I get hit by recoil uh, with the Brave Bird. I think the safest bet for me right now is to actually go for the Brave Bird. There's the Ice Shard. Of course, it's definitely going to hit. Um, Brave Bird, I am going to get some recoil damage, which is going to hurt. Plus, I'm also Light Orb. I guess I should have probably thought about close combat first. It's not good. Come on, live. Alright, come on, live, 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 live. I might be able to get a Roost off here. Hopefully, I can get a Roost. Ooh, Gengar. Bad type matchup. If I could have speed, which I don't think I can, I could go for the Brave Bird. But he's probably got Thunderbolt. Let's just go for the Brave Bird. Just to, yeah, Mega. Oh, jeez. The Mega Evolution definitely is going to hurt, but he doesn't get a speed boost or a stat increases. Uh, outspeeding me anyway. No way I'm living that. <laughs> so no matter if I went for the Brave Bird or not, it doesn't really matter in this scenario. The Gengar definitely uh, took me out. Uh, so that was a good match. Of course, we did lose again. Uh, that's all right, though. That's how the game is played. So guys, if you enjoyed the battle there today, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Post your comments below. And as well, make sure you hit that sub button. Um... Hope you guys all had a great day today, and I hope you all take care.